coming up on the first pitch and pitching here today Cooper Criswell and Singy it's unique these days but he's more of a pitch to contact type of guy. Yeah Boogie doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout he knows he needs to miss barrels get some soft contact let the defense do work behind him and I think a guy like that can keep a good tempo don't give hitters time to adjust or think they can move through a ball game and you look up they're in line for a quality start we'll see what he's got in this one. Ball that three. one misses three and one now three one. first pitch strike from the pitcher but then no panic at all by the hitter very patient showing good discipline now he's in the driver's seat with the three one count ah. next offering is in for a strike. Gets a piece and stays alive. Payoff pitch. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. And the righty deals. Line drive. Base hit right field. Hops over the wall. And that's an automatic double. Well, this tends to happen more often in this park than others. And that short fence is just so inviting for hitters. You see a lot of balls bounce over for an automatic double when no one can run it down. Here's the center fielder, Jake McCarthy. Carroll at second with nobody out. Out to short, Rafaela. One out in the top out. of the first. That is her. The designated hitter. Time to take a look at the Diamondbacks lineup. And Chris, this group has been struggling to put up runs lately. Well, they haven't been on base a ton, and even when they are, they haven't been hitting very well with runners on base. So they need a guy or two to really step up, have some quality at bats, hit according to the situation, and sort of break out of this. I think if they do, the rest of this lineup will follow. Here's Jack Peterson. Oh. In the dirt, two balls and a strike. And it's second. Line drive. And now maybe extra bases. And it gets by him. Run scores easily. And it's 1 0. And he'll pull into second safely. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. the switch hitting first baseman Josh Bell Ball outside two. low and it's two and two, two well they're two really strike. running up the pitch count in this first inning lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now That's to third. Devers sends it across out. the first. Two away. No, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. Well, with this many pitches thrown here yeah, in this first good. inning, I mean, you're giving no, the other team a really good look. Good. He's going to have to find a way yeah, to get yeah. some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout, and hit the reset button. Man on second, two down. Bows it off, still one and two. Left hand batter waits. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Whips it to Casas. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. D backs with a run scoring double. It's an early 1 0 lead. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show.
back here at Fenway and starting this one Jordan Montgomery. Well he's been a real quality starter for his club and coming into this one what stands out for me is that right handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 on the year it seems that they have a hard time picking up his release point and tracking the ball into the zone Leading so off. we'll see well, how no, right handers right do off. against him in this one well, we go to the bottom of the first yeah, right, and right. stepping in for Boston Jaron yeah, right, Duran. Right. And the pitch. That one fouled off. The one two. Fights it off. You'll see another. Ball and two. another ball. Two two. Next okay. offering is down low. Outside, and that is ball four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Here's the rookie right fielder, Willier Abreu. To second, and he's out. Base is empty. Bounced out to short. Throws the first in time. That is good. And let's take a look at the lineup. And no doubt a big factor in this series so far, Tristan Casas. Well, Boog, he's a guy to watch because he capitalizes on the big situations as well as anyone. Hitting over 350 with runners in scoring position. And you know what that means? That means he's a key player for this offense because he can really drive them in when the team needs him the most. He's been clutch all year. The other way, and that's the inning. So they make short work of him there. On to the second from Fenway Park. It's the Diamondbacks one and the Red Sox nothing. All set for the start of the inning. Now at the plate, Adrian Del Castillo. Del Castillo. Late with the swing there. One ball, two strikes. Wings here and blasts one left field. And it hits off the monster. Now he'll turn for second. And he's got a leadoff double. He was all over that one. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. And he hit the ball on the screws. Eugenio Suarez up to hit down. Got him. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. Well, they clearly didn't recognize that curveball out of the hand and tried to check the swing, just went around too far, and you're hoping the umpire maybe missed it, and they bail you out. And he grounds one to the right side. And he handles it himself for the out. The Geraldo. And the batter will be the shortstop. Geraldo Perdomo. Del Castillo at third with two away. This one high in the air to left center. Yoshida on the move to the gap. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. One left for Arizona, but they still lead it 1-0. Of the second, Leading and now off. the veteran Four third baseman, right Rafael Devers. The third baseman. Devers. 
Yeah, and here's a fun stat on Davers. He's at his best when he's hitting homers and doubles, and by the time he was 26 years old, Devers already had over 150 home runs and more than 200 doubles. He's just the 15th player in baseball history with those kinds of numbers at that age. Now here's the Red Sox DH, Rob Ref Snyder. Swung on, belted. That's back there. And it hits the fence. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Everything came together for him. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. Masataka Yoshida up next for the Red Sox. And a pitch. And that one fouled off. And it's second. He goes down looking. Well, even if you don't feel great about it, you've got to swing the bat with two strikes in this situation. You've got the tying run out there in scoring position. Just put the ball in play. Maybe something good will happen. It just didn't look like he understood the situation. Connor Wong up next for the Red Sox. Next offering is in for a strike. Two outs. Just misses. Three balls, two strikes. David Hamilton waiting to bat for the Red Sox. Got him swinging. Pulled the string on the changeup. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. We head on now to the top of the third. It's the Diamondbacks one and the Red Sox nothing. Back now at Fenway. This is Corbin Carroll. The right fielder, number seven. Corbin Carroll. And a pitch. A little yeah. out front there as he swings through. Right through. Next Here's offering two. way off the plate. Left hand hitter waits. Bounce to third. Devers gathers and yeah. throws to first. And one away at the top of the third. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Jake McCarthy stands in now for the Diamondbacks. One down, base is empty. So Chris, uh -huh. through the early stages, he hasn't One been ball. very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Ball and two. another ball. It is interesting, though, when you strike. consider the way the game is run now, doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. Riding to the plate. Rip towards third. Two up, two down. He's out. Now that designated hitter, John Peterson. And Jack Peterson stands in. The wind and the pitch. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield. And even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. Here's Josh Bell. The 2-1. Right through there for a strike. One left for the Diamondbacks, but they lead it one to nothing. Back here at Fenway, and now David Hamilton. 
the second base. Ball to strike. Lined, and that's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Well, I don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but he did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. Sedane Rafaela will hit next. Downstairs, and it misses ball four. Base knock, and now a free pass. This has the makings of a big inning if they can get a couple more quality at-bats. Back to the top of the lineup, now batting Jaron Duran. In the grand scheme of things, this at-bat might not feel important because it's early, but it could create a domino effect for things to come. Control what you can here and have a strong at-bat. and a miss one and two big at bat right here with an opportunity to do damage but on the flip side ground ball double play strikeout that could get the inning back under control on the mound at the belt and fires cuts and misses it's a strikeout and Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. Two on, one out. Will you Abreu up next for the Red Sox? Tristan Casas kicks and deals and a count one and two ball. and another ball going to lay off that pitch down traffic on the bases with one already in here in the last half of the third Close one doesn't get the call. Okay. Full count down. Rafael Devers waiting for a turn at the plate. And here's a 3 2. We gave up on that pitch early and it ended up staying in the zone. I'm sure he's kicking himself and would like that pitch again. Swing and a miss struck him out. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. So first and second with two outs. Devers now. Two on, two outs. Rebound. One sports away a little bit. No advance from the runners. Three and one now. Tied up here in the early going. Next offering in there for a strike. Now three and two. Let's see if he's willing to use the whole field right here. Definitely pounding him away. Two outs. Base hit into right center. One runs in, headed for the plate. Relay throw, and he's out. Cut down, and that ends the inning. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. On to inning number four. It's the Red Sox two, and the Diamondbacks one. Start of the fourth. Here's the left fielder, Payton Smith. That one misses. 
And a count two and one. Well, these Diamondbacks did a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best. New There's a swing and a drive. And an automatic double as it hops the fence. The automatic double kind of feels like enjoying cruise control in your car, Boog. You don't need to keep the pedal down as you move in the second base just no worries in the world you know what he put a really good swing on that one and now the catcher comes up to him Adrian Del Castillo to third Devers throws out the first that's the first out in the top of the fourth yeah that was a wasted RBI opportunity but a competitor like him he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat Eugenio Suarez up to the plate now And it's second. Swings and misses. And the count one and two. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. And that's downstairs and outside. Ripped into center base head. Runner around third on his way to the plate. He scores to tie it up. It's 2-2. Two -two. Puts it around the board and picks up an RBI. He put a great swing on that ball. Took the barrel right to it. Nice extension as well. 105 exit velocity. That tells you everything you need to know about that swing. One down. Runner at first. Here's the second baseman. Luis Guillorme. Swings oh, through that one for strike two. One, two. One run across in the frame so far. Top half of inning number four. Whoa. And another ball. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Lucas Sims getting loose out there. The pitch. Out towards right center. That's well struck. And it one hops the wall. Rounds third, headed for the plate. The relay throw, but it's He's offline. Dead. It's 3 2. Mission accomplished there as he picks up the RBI to give him the lead. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Geraldo Perdomo stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Here's a 1-1. This one in the air center field. And he'll play it on a bounce. Into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I could see already is bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Up the middle. That's a base hit. Run scores. Now that the center fielder, Jamie Murphy. So first and second with one gone. Jake McCarthy stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Two on, one out. Foul ball there. The pitch. On the ground, right side. And that's just foul. Tapped softly on the ground, and he picks it up in foul territory. He hasn't gotten the result yet, but he's got to feel pretty confident. Three foul balls in a row. He's right on this pitcher. That's a ball. Next offering misses down and away. Well, the good thing so far is that he hasn't issued any free passes. Unfortunately, they're making pretty good contact, so not getting the swings and misses and making that defense work behind him. The pitch. 
On the ground to third, might be two. Good feed, that's one. Over to first, safe. No, that looks routine, but it hasn't been so easy for this club defensively this year. And you've got to make those routine plays behind the pitcher. Helps him to get more comfortable and move through this ball game. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Cooper Criswell, done for the day, and we'll be back with their first arm out of the pen after a quick break. So the Red Sox bring on a new pitcher, Lucas Sims. Well, he's been excellent against left-handed hitters this year, and that's his first test. This looks like a good move to the pin in terms of the matchup. And now Jack Peterson. Next pitch in for a strike. Two and two. Perdomo on third. McCarthy on a first with two down. Big foot slider ties him up, struck him out. Three runs for him here, and they move ahead to the bottom of inning number four now. It's the Diamondbacks four and the Red Sox two. Back here in Boston. Boston. Now Rob it's the DH, Rob Resnick. And the pitch. That one ripped, and that's a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Masataka Yoshida, the next to hit. That one inside. Ball two. two one. The pitch. Swings and lines one towards the gap. Could be extra bases. Around second on his way to third. Throw comes in. Runner stop. Second and third. Nobody out. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Man, that feels so good to shoot an absolute bolt the opposite way. Split the gap and know that you've got extra bases right off the bat. That's the kind of thing hitters dream about when they're falling asleep at night. Here's the speedy catcher, Connor Wong. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss. Gonna count one, one and two. And that got the pitcher. And they get the out after the ricochet. Now that anchor got it down low, and you can really see him favoring the leg. That's his plant leg, which might be a concern, Chris. Yeah, you hope he's got some feeling in that leg so he can land on it, like you said. But from the way he's acting out there, I think it looks like he's going to be okay and try to continue, boo. So two in scoring position with one out. Now it's the second baseman, David Hamilton. Here comes a pitch. Fouled off. He was late. And here it comes. Bounce to the right. Guillaume made a first. There for the out. Runner scores from third. Here's the shortstop no, no, no. at the play. Zidane Rafael. Two outs. And a count one and two. And he deals. That's out to center field. Makes the grab and that'll end the inning. 
One run, a pair of hits, no errors, and one left on. We're headed to the fifth. It's the Diamondbacks four and the Red Sox three. Back here at Fenway Park, new inning getting started. Josh Bell at the plate now. The pitch. Ball. And another ball. You know, these D-backs digging into their numbers have to be happy with the swings they're taking. They have five extra base hits on the stat sheet so far, and that tells me they're seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well. Nice grab. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Next to hit for Arizona, Paven Smith. With all those extra base hits, it's easy to think we're going to see that trend continue the rest of the game. They seem to be really locked in at the plate. One down, base is empty. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. Next up for the Diamondbacks, Adrian Del Castillo. And the righty deals. Swings and misses. That's strike two. Right hander kicks deals. And that one hit to first. And it goes just foul. Righty delivers. That's Ball inside. Two. Ground ball right side could be two. Over to second for one. Return for the first. Got him. Double play. And that'll do it. One hit in the inning, but no one left. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Diamondbacks four and the Red Sox three. back here at Fenway Park we head to the bottom of the fifth and now the center fielder Jaron Duran we talk about guys with good speed and definitely he has it but pushing the offense aside for just a second Chris it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most loves it on the dive in time got him well you can see right there he looks very comfortable going to the backhand nice diving stop gets up to complete the play that'll fire the team up for sure Still stepping in for Boston, Willier Abreu. Left-hand batter waits. Up the middle, Perdomo. On the run, sends it over to first. And a couple of quick outs. Now batting, first baseman, Tristan Casas. Here's a big power threat, Tristan Casas. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. The one one. On the ground. And foul ball. This guy's seen two changeups in a row. Could be a little vulnerable for a fastball right here. The one two. That's ball down two. and in. Two out spaces empty. That All one three. missed. Rafael Devers waiting on deck if they extend the inning. Plenty of pop in his bat, so he could give them the lead with one swing if he gets the chance. And that's, no, that's just foul. foul. Two down, nobody on. On the ground to third. Suarez oh. throw to first in time. Red Sox go one, two, three. Nothing doing for Boston. Score holds at four, three. All 
all set for the top of the sixth. Down the third baseman, A. Eugenio Suarez. And a pitch. Whoa. And another ball. Boston's bullpen with some activity. Brennan Bernardino, a lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Martin, the right-hander, also getting loose. And that's Three in the one. dirt. And there's Take ball the four. Ball four. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick free pass. Here's Luis Guillorme. Nobody out. Runner at first. This one lifted in the air. Left field. Fair ball. And that rolls into the corner. Throw comes in. Runner stops. Second and third. Nobody out. In safely with a double. His second of the day. Now up next for Arizona, Geraldo Perdomo. Swing ah. and a miss. And it's one and two. Ooh. Suarez at third. Guillaume at second with nobody out. Base hit. One run is in. Runner stops at third, and they're at the corners with nobody out. Picks himself up an RBI. Nice line drive to the full side right there, but he didn't spin yeah. off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. And now it's going to be Corbin Carroll. Right-handed reliever. Swing and a foul straight back. Left-hand hitter waits. Ball. In the dirt, but kept close. Count moves to two and two as the runners hold. Comes a two-two. Delivers outside. Full count. Eighth pitch of the at back coming up. Outside, and that Make is ball bank. four. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. Next to hit, Jake McCarthy. And yeah, the right hander deals. That clips a corner. Well, this is a tough situation with the bases loaded, but the healthiest mindset is just try to get out one hitter at a time. Kicks and deals. Bounce to the left side. Devers. One at second, and that's all they'll get. Two on, one out. And now, Jack Peterson. Runners are at the corners, one away. Sims throws over, back in there standing. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. And that one is lifted in the air, under it. Snags it for the second out. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive no, it. No, 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 no. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Josh Bell. Well, the way these two teams have battled in this game, you know you need more. Got to continue to add runs if you're going to get out of here with a win. At the belt and fires. And there's a foul ball.
The one two. Up the middle and he knocks it down. And they get the out after the ricochet. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. They put two on the board on two base hits. No errors, but two are left stranded. To the bottom of the six we go. Four, five, six coming up. It's the Diamond six and the Red Sox three. Back now for the bottom of the six, and there's a new pitcher on the mound. Brandon Fack. Still a lot of game left, and this game could go either way. So this is a big opportunity for him to get some important outs and try to help carry this lead into the later innings. Leading off. And it's Rafael, Rafael Devers, Devers in the box. The third baseman. Rafael Devers. The 1-1. One, one. Yeah, yep. Big swing and a miss. 1-2. And another ball. Looking to get something going. This is the guy you want at the plate. He's been great for this team. He is a professional hitter. Popped up. Suarez moving under it. And there's one down. Man, he just couldn't lay off right there. Those high fastballs, they just look yeah, yeah, really yeah, good because they're high level. Raw. But they're just about impossible to get the barrel to. And next for the Red Sox, Rob Ref Snyder. The 3 1. That one pushed foul. One down, base is empty. Hard hit, knocks it down. The throw is still in time, and they do get the out. Two outs, base is empty. Masataka Yoshida up next for the Red Sox. That one 95 to finish him off. Red Sox go down quietly and can't cut into that 6-3 deficit. Come back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound. Brennan Bernardino. Bringing in the lefty with a left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here. So we'll see how it works out. Haven Smith stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Haven Smith. And now it's one and two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. The bat. Now the, the D-backs catcher, catcher, Adrian, Adrian Del, Castillo. Del Castillo. Base is empty, one away. Here in the top half of inning number seven. That two misses, one. and it's two and one. Out to short, Rafaela. In plenty of time Eat to out. first, and two away to start the seventh. Now that third base is two outs, base is empty. Next to hit for Arizona, a Eugenio Suarez. The pitch. Swing and a miss. One and two. Two strikes. Got him swinging. Nothing doing for Arizona. They still lead it 6 3. And we're back. Leading Bottom off. of the inning. Four and now Connor Wong. The catcher. The catcher. Right through there for a strike. Oh. 
Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Well, that high four-seam fastball has become such a staple as a strikeout pitch over the years. And what's so tough as a hitter is that you see it extremely well. The problem is the velocity and spin rate just happens to jump by you. You expand your zone. You don't stay tall on the backside. And you're really not even able to make contact. If you do, many times it's a pop-up. And the batter down, David Hamilton. One, two. The D-backs leading by three here at the bottom of the seventh. Ball. And another ball. That one the other way. Could be extra bases. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. The throw in. Not in time. He's got a double. You got to get on your horse and get to that ball and get it back in because he's going to come barreling around first and put some pressure on you. If you bobble it or you don't get there in a hurry, it's going to make you look silly and end up on second base. Sedane Rafaela up next for the Red Sox. Here's a 1 1. Ground ball up the middle. Oh, look at the stop. Throws from his knees. The heck of a play from his knees. Look at how he dives right there. He's able to pop up to both knees. Not enough time to get to his feet, but he threw a cannon across the diamond to get the runner. Now on the mound for the Diamondbacks, Kevin Ginkle. Definitely a guy that pounds the strike zone, makes hitters earn their way on base, and rarely gets in trouble because of free passes. So the Red Sox lineup turns over. Here's the center fielder, Jaron Duran. Two outs. Swings through the fastball up in the zone. Two ball, two strikes. The 2 2 now. Cuts on it, misses. That's a strikeout. The high heat, too much on that one. Nice work from the snake pen there. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Diamondback six and the Red Sox three. Back in Boston, at the top of the eighth. Now, Luis Guillorme. Luis Guillorme. Line drive. Jumps, but it's off his glove. And he beats it. He's safe. Perdomo stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Liner saved at first. Dives for the bag. Got him. Double play. Corbin Carroll stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Two down, nobody on. And we're in the top of the eighth. Another ball. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Ready for the bottom Maybe of the eighth. Off. And stepping in for Boston, Willier Abreu. And the pitch. Oh. And now two balls and a strike. Oh. 
ball. chase that time. Three ball, one strike. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch, and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger. And this one swung on and hit well. Way back there. And that one is gone. One run number 15 on the year. It's 6-4. He just sent this stadium into a frenzy. They're going nuts. He wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. Dylan Floor taking over on the mound. And as relievers go, he's not a big strikeout guy. He tries to force weak contact, so. Command and execution are huge for him. And here's the first baseman, Tristan Casas. The Red Sox trailing by two here in the bottom half of the eighth inning. Battling here as he fouls it away. The wind of the pitch. And that one ripped to left. Fair ball. And that rolls into the corner. Now he turns and heads for second. The throw in. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. That was a thing of beauty. He may have been a little behind the pitch, but by getting that barrel into the hitting zone early on in his swing, he was able to meet it and still shoot a line drive down the line and left. And here is Devers. The tying run at the plate. Fouls one away and now three and two. As a hitter, you don't know what to expect here in the three two. If he'll throw a breaking ball three one, he'll do it again three two. The pitch. So oh, Devers will take his base. Walks out of the bullpen can absolutely kill your momentum very quickly. They're in some hot water trying to protect this lead. First and second, no outs. Rob Refsnyder up next for the Red Sox. Good eye in that spot. Tough spot right here. Couple two runners ball. on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Fastball for a strike. The Diamondbacks with some movement in the pen. Justin Martinez up and throwing for manager Troy Lavello. Mansupply, the left-hander, also throwing. Casas over at second. Devers on at first with nobody out. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. And that'll fall for a base hit. Boys are flying and he scores. And it's six five. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet, knowing that you can come through with a good swing. And there he doesn't try to do too much. Substitution being made at first. Pinch running here. Romy Gonzalez. Joe stepping in for Boston. Masataka Yoshida. And a pitch. Perdomo. There's one. How about that double play? Now And here is Connor Wong. Two outs. And another ball. Okay. He 
He fouls it off. We'll do it again. Payoff pitch. Get on the ground to the right side. Takes it himself. Now. Inning over, and it could have been worse. So two runs on three hits, including the home run. No errors, and one left on base. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Diamondback six and the Red Sox five. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Chris Martin. This guy's a strike thrower. He's Martin. done an excellent job of avoiding walks so far this season. Jake McCarthy stands in now for the Diamondbacks. The fielder, Jake McCarthy. That one really? close ruled a ball. Two and one. There's a strike. Swings and misses. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error. But some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball yep. in play next time. Late that One time ball. and it's strike Good two. The Red Sox with some bullpen action. Nick Pavetta appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. Garcia warming up as well. Peterson checks his swing. Appeal to third. Nope, he held back. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Gibson misses. It's a strikeout. Chance to strike out the side now. You talk about the benefits, the advantages of relievers who can come in and get the swing and miss, whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves. Knowing that they can miss the bat, tell you what, that's huge. It can change the ball game. Left field. And it drops in. So the two down. Next up for the Diamondbacks, Pavin Smith. Next offering upstairs. The pitch. This to third. Whips it to Casas. Oh. And the inning is over. So no runs here on a base hit. No errors. And one left. 8 9 1 due up in the bottom of inning number nine. It's the Diamondback six and the Red Sox five. Back now. And on the mound, the closer, Justin Martinez. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. And stepping in for Boston, David Hamilton. It's so important to stay within yourself, especially for this hitter. Not known to be a power guy or a home run hitter. He needs to set the table by getting on with a walk or a base hit. Swings and misses. Slider right there. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Brings it in, and there's one away. Boy, that was a hanging, no, breaking no, no. ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. And now the shortstop, Sidane Rafaela. Looking to get the tying run on base. In the air, right field. Carroll snags it on the run. Center field, number 16. Last out for the Red Sox in this one. Now here's the Red Sox leadoff hitter, Jaron Duran. Two down, nobody on. That one is absolutely belted. Way back there.